students often want to know what the natural rate of unemployment is. They want to know if it's like 5% or 6%. They want an exact number. When the economy is in equilibrium, the price level and the unemployment rate are not changing. Equilibrium infers that there is equilibrium in both the labor market and the goods market. Let's use the FRED database to actually compute the natural rate of unemployment. Set your browser to stlouisfed.org and download the FRED data series GDP CA, which is the annual change weighted um, series. You'll see a screen that looks like this, beginning in 1929 with 900 and $77 billion worth of goods and services produced during that time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to calculate just how fast the economy is growing. So I simply then take the rate of change by subtracting the two numbers here, dividing it by the base, and I can see there the rate of change. I use my copy and paste tool, and I complete rest of the column. The next thing to do is to get the unemployment rate. The FRED data uh, base only keeps the unemployment rate in percent and monthly, so I had to get the yearly. And to do this, I had to either type them in manually or I had to go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and copy and paste it into the spreadsheet. I chose the latter amount, and that's how I got them into my spreadsheet. The next thing to do was to see exactly when the unemployment rate wasn't changing, so I again calculated the rate of change in the unemployment rate. You can see that I have the unemployment rate, the change in the unemployment rate calculated here, and I have the growth of GDP over here. The next step is to use my chart wizard, which is uh, on my toolbar. Then, after I clicked on the chart wizard, I get um, this window here, and I'm going to select scatter. And when I do select scatter, I get a series that looks like this in hot pink, and one like here that looks like a series of BB guns have rattled through a poster. And what I'd like to do is actually select, uh, click on the data series or select the series up there, and I'm going to remove data series number one. And so I've clicked on the series, and after I've removed data series one, I now have just data series two left, as you can see, uh, with the hot pink lines. Uh, the next step then is to give it a title, label my X and my Y, and then I'm going to remove the grid lines and the legend. And when I do, I am left with, voila, the natural rate uh, of GDP growth, which hovers around 3.5%. Uh, now that I know how much the economy is growing, I would like to see how much it differs from uh, the current rate of GDP growth. So here is the GDP growth rate that I've calculated before, and I'm going to subtract 3.5% from it to see how much the gap is. Obviously, then if the gap is zero, the economy must be in full employment. So I copied and pasted the correct columns, and you can now see I have a scatter graph here that hovers right around heavily between 6 and 4. Um, I've used my TI here to actually uh, use a linear regression model to the mean, and you can see that when um, the unemployment rate is 5.6% in the economy, and the Y, or the X, I'm sorry, 